In only a few days, the Grand Inquisitor will return to Star Wars animation in the new Tales of the Empire series, a collection of six short episodes set during the reign of the Empire. The character was first introduced in the animated Star Wars Rebel series, and has since appeared in many comics as well as made the jump to live action in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. For those who aren't familiar with the character, here's everything you need to know about the character going into the Tales of the Empire this weekend. The Grand Inquisitor was the title adopted by the Powan male Jedi Knight who turned to the dark side of the Force and became the leader of the Inquisitorius, a band of Jedi hunters who served the Galactic Empire. The Grand Inquisitor was once a Jedi Temple guard, and was involved in the events surrounding the bombing of the Jedi Temple during the Clone Wars, arresting the innocent and later exonerated Padawan Ahsoka Tano, as well as the true culprit, Bera Safi. After his fall to the dark side, the Grand Inquisitor was responsible for hunting down and eliminating Jedi during the Great Jedi Purge. Selected by the Emperor, Darth Sidious himself, for the position of Grand Inquisitor, he personally served the Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Vader, from whom he received his orders. Throughout his tenure, he proved to be one of the regime's most proficient tools in eradicating the last of the Jedi Order, being intimately familiar with the records of the Jedi Temple. The Grand Inquisitor took an active interest in eliminating the rebel crew of the Starship Ghost, particularly the Jedi Kina Jarrus and his Padawan, Ezra Bridger. He encountered these two Jedi on a number of occasions, including a duel on Stygian Prime and a duel on the asteroid base Fort Anaxis. After the Grand Inquisitor and the government of Lothal, from which the rebels operated, were consistently unable to eliminate the rebels, Grand Moff Wilhuff Tarkin arrived on Lothal to hunt for the rebels. Together, they captured Jairus and hoped to use him to learn more about a larger rebel movement that was operating in the galaxy. They brought Jairus to Mostafar, where the rebels mounted a rescue mission in Orbis. During the operation, the Grand Inquisitor engaged Jairus and Bridger in lightsaber combat, and Jairus eventually bested him. Rather than face the infamous wrath of Lord Vader for his repeated failures, the Grand Inquisitor chose to fall to his death. After the Powan's death over Mustafar, the former Jedi Grandmaster Yoda utilized a vision of the Grand Inquisitor as his former Jedi Temple guard self to appear before Jairus in the Jedi Temple on the fall. In the vision, the Sentinel warned Jairus that Bridger could fall to the dark side, and the two engaged in a lightsaber duel. After Jairus refused to fight any further, the Sentinel knighted Jairus and told him that he was a Jedi Knight, as the Grand Inquisitor once was. But despite the Inquisitor's physical death, Vader still had use for him. The Dark Lord was able to prevent the Inquisitor's spirit from passing on, instead tying it to a Jedi outpost on Tempest. Here his spirit remained, killing all those who sought Jedi knowledge. After losing his lightsaber in 3 ABY, Vader's own son, Luke Skywalker, encountered the Inquisitor's spirit on Tempest. The two engaged in a duel that saw the young Skywalker come out victorious. As punishment for allowing the boy to escape, Vader refused the Powan's pleas to be set free from his prison leaving him to guard the outpost for what the Inquisitor believed would be in an eternity. How excited are you for Tales of the Empire? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like the video, and subscribe for coverage of new Star Wars episodes as they release, and remember to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Thank you all for watching, and remember, the Force will be with you. Always.